Hey you, do you want to learn how to generate AI in real time using your webcam like this? Then stay tuned. Enigmatic E. Hey everyone, today we have something very special. I've been wanting to test this out for a while and it's real time generation through a webcam or through just your camera in general. Uh, through OBS or uh, a webcam that you connect to your computer through USB. And it's all thanks to, let me show you. It's all thanks to this person right here, Toy XYZ. This person has been doing a lot of really cool things with Comfy UI. And as you can see, he even has right here, uh, open pose a skeleton that's moving around and it's generating everything in real time. And this is very cool. He just released a new custom node that is pretty much, yeah, it's like real time webcam to comfy UI generation. So I'm going to show you how to install that. I'm going to show you how to get started. It's quite simple. Once you get started, if you're not familiar with comfy UI, I do have a video on how to use it. Uh, there should be a link above that you can check out so that you can watch that and get introduced to how this works. And then you can come here and continue on to install this new node. All right. So I'm going to put this GitHub link in the description so you can find it down there. Uh, again, shout out to Toy XYZ. Definitely go check this person out. Go follow him on Twitter. So let's start by installing this new node. We're going to get this link right here where it says Git clone. We're going to copy this whole link. Control C to copy. Then we're going to come to our comfy UI folder. And when we come here, we're going to go to custom nodes. Here where you have your URL, uh, we're going to type in CMD and then enter. You're gonna get this new window that pops up and you're going to just press control V to paste the Git clone and website link. And you press enter, it's going to install it into this folder. All right, so after that, uh, you wanna start up your comfy UI. You can actually save this image here, uh, save image as, and then you can load that image onto here. You can either drag it or just load it from this button right here and then load it from there and then you're gonna have the workflow already set up for you. So there are a few things we need to consider, like the model, and uh, in this case, I'm just gonna use Anniverse. You can use whatever model that you wanna use. For LoRa, you'll need a LCM LoRa. I'll put a link on how to download that uh, from civitai.com. Put it in your LoRa folder, and then uh, it should appear right here. Uh, for me, it's named PyTorch right now at the moment, but it should have the correct name when you download it from here. Uh, make sure you download whatever version you're using. In this case, I'm using uh, 1.5 models. So I put that in there. I have to make sure everything else is correct. So like the VAE, make sure you put the VAE that you actually have. And I think that's pretty much it. We're going to, uh, you know, this obviously is going to affect the generation and what's going to be shown. So we'll see right now what this is going to generate. Uh, and right here we have our webcam path we have to go to where we have our custom node where we just installed this node and then you're going to go to that folder it's going to be comfy ui toy x y z test nodes you double click there you're going to go to capture cam and then you're going to click on run bat once you do that it's going to open up this window here and you're going to have some parameters here so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have an output if you don't put an output it's going to do i believe the default output that's right here but uh, yeah, I, I think it's best if you just make sure that you create a folder and put it the output in that folder. So make sure you select an output folder. In this case, I'm going to be selecting this folder. I'm going to put it in here. Actually, let me just put browse and then just press select folder right here. And then when you press uh, start, then there should be an image that appears here. Let me actually press start right here. Okay, so you come here. So you're going to see this capture.jpg file, and it's going to be like kind of real time footage of what's happening. So that's what's going to be feeding into here. So now that uh, I put this in here and I make sure uh, it's, it's called uh, capture, make sure that this image was created in the folder that you put as your output. So now we go to our queue. We come here to where it says extra options, and we're going to put auto queue so that it can keep generating. And don't worry, it's, this is a preview window, so it's not gonna save it anywhere. It's just a preview. You can save it. I'll show you how to save it later just by creating a save image node. But uh, yeah, so let's just go ahead and queue this up. And now you're seeing this image of a woman in real time. So what's really cool is that you can just, you know, keep this going and just change the prompt. Like, 
wearing a beanie, for example. It says photo of a girl wearing a gray beanie, right? Now it's actually detecting a beanie. And here I can actually even put some more embeddings, maybe some, some extra embeddings in here just to see how it affects it. Like, yeah, it's getting a beard. So maybe I put beard. This is like, if you want to catfish somebody at some point, right? I'm just kidding. Yeah. So you're getting this real image and it's, I think it's really cool. Um, let's see, uh, let's see like, uh, the incredible Hulk, Hulk green muscular. And then I'll suddenly, um, I'm looking green and muscular. Uh, yeah. So, all right. So this is with a control net. I do notice that when I add a control net, it slows it down significantly. Yeah. So it, this is pretty cool. Um, let's see the fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's kind of funny. Oh man. This is really cool. Yeah. All right. So let's try some other models. Nice. Does it get my fingers? Yeah. That's sick. All right, everyone. Well, this is it for today. Um, definitely try this out, experiment with it. Go follow toy X, Y, Z and enjoy, enjoy this. Uh, oh yeah. To, if you want to save this, you know, it's very simple. You can't save it as a video. I don't think, um, you can probably just save it as um just save image and it's just gonna save the images uh, i think that's just gonna you got to be careful with that because then you're gonna have a folder full of images and you know make sure that you uh are aware of that so yeah all right everyone thank you so much for watching like always take care god bless and peace, peace.